Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tact OP Destiny episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode, um, we were, we uh, arrived at America and now we have, we met the sister and got a little checkup done. From the checkup, the thing that was the most uh, uh, concerning situation that is the that is uh, what's the name destiny that is destiny sucking up tuck's uh, life force that thing is still not uh still not treated because it's kind of impossible to treat the whole thing with uh, the thing that we got to know from that episode is that this thing is a codependent thing it's like a symbiotic relationship between those two like you know like since uh, destiny or cosette is dead kind of she was able to stay alive by uh, feeding on Tuck's, um, what do you call it, Tuck's uh, life force. And since Cosette is linked, uh, Cosette and Destiny are linked with Tuck um, by, you know, like by music art and conductor uh, thing that they have between them. Um, that's why Tuck can, you know, use superhuman powers while fighting. Uh, so it's kind of like that both are taking like you know like it's like a codependent relationship uh, they had a choice they had a choice like either you get out of all of this spend your the rest of your life uh, you know like in a peaceful place mm, you'll probably live longer uh, otherwise you'll probably die sooner or later a lot sooner than you expect if uh, destiny keeps uh, you know taking your life force and you keep fighting they came to a choice after the whole little you know uh, section of them having fun uh, they come to a decision uh, Tuck says that I want to keep fighting because that also wants that and now like you know like something is happening in in that city D2 like you know problem like you know and then there's this that attracting thing that was happening that hell used that's also happening somewhere D2s are getting, getting attracted and probably are going to attack now uh, Lenny called them and Tuck is like yeah let's go yeah let's see what happens um how this ends hopefully it has a happy ending i don't want any sad endings or stuff but i doubt that'll happen because this is supposed to get a game so yeah anyways uh, let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go master and pupil lenny Oh, Lenny also was a fan of Asahina Kenji. I think that was the dad's name. Yeah, he was also a fan. Oh, he was also a player, violin player. It makes sense. Because he's a conductor, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I wonder how um, Lenny and Titan met. Like how Titan became a music art. Who knows? I doubt they're going to answer these questions. Maybe they will. Who knows? You know, in this anime, because this will probably have eleven or twelve episodes, not more than that. Probably everything will be answered in the game, which is going to come out later. If the game has a global, like, you know, uh, release, I am planning to check it out because I'm quite interested in the story now that, you know, like, this is, this is the prologue, I guess, this anime. So, and I have, as I said, I have seen little glimpses of the games in YouTube. They kind of put out, like, you know, little trailers and stuff. It looks pretty interesting, even though it's a, it's, it's a gacha game and, yeah. Okay, anyways, let's see. <laughs> I 
Oh, maybe they are going to tell us how they met or something. Or maybe not. Anyways. <sighs> yep. Yeah, he knows something. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did teach you stuff. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, she doesn't even know that. Oh, uh, that was yesterday, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so he does know. I'm guessing he knows everything. Oh, oh great. Wow. Mm, the boss is here. This is a problem. Rooster. Oh. Oh my god. Wow, great. Oh, from him. Okay, heaven and hell is here. Oh. Most probably. Yeah, and we don't even know what hell's, uh, heaven's power is. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Amends. Yeah, kind of figured that out. Oh. Why atone for it? Like. Oh, he met with him. Oh. Okay. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, so he, wow, so he he basically was the uh 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 Tuck's dad was was the mentor of him. Oh. Mm. So what actually happened? Like, why is he blaming himself? Like, oh my god. Oh. Okay. Well, obviously, the whole thing was Schindler's plan. Like, you know, like using the, the, the place to. Oh, great. He's here. Like, what? I don't get it. What is uh, Sagan's plan, actually? Like, as far as we can, we can understand, he's behind everything. Kind of. Okay, so this is where they meet. So get, they get assigned basically to different uh, conductors. Unlike a Destiny because, she, because they're a special exception. Okay. Okay, so what happens after this? This is all according to Sagan's plan, so... Yeah, probably related to Tuck. Okay, here we go. Wait. 
Oh, is that the end of the flashback? Wait, what's happening? Yeah, I think so. My God. Okay, so heaven is like the sh shield or defense. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> wow. Okay, um. Yeah. Wow, it has become night. They're fighting for a long time. <laughs> oh okay um all right um okay yeah oh no Like, what's he trying to do, Sagan? It seems like he's not pushing them that much. Like, as soon as he saw that being devoured... Oh my god. There goes the umbrella. Wait, wait, wait! Oh no, it took too much out of that. Yeah... Oh no. Um Oh no. Okay, thank God. Oh no. Oh no, I, I think, oh my god, Lenny is here. Oh great. This is just what I didn't want. Oh no. Oh my god, don't, oh. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Wait, where did... Okay, um... Yeah, this is like the last.
Yeah, it's talking about Lenny. Oh no. Oh my god, what's what the what's he doing? Why it doesn't make any sense? Why is he bringing them and then trying to stop them? Whoa! Oh my god! Oh. oh my god, heaven's destroyed completely, I think. No, okay, heavens. God. Hmm. 
Asayi na Kenji. My god, I was not expecting that. <sighs> well, that was... That was sad, okay. Um, here we get uh, this episode, this is episode number um, 10. Uh, we get a little... We get a uh, few new informations here. First of all, we get to see that Lenny is actually related to Tut and his family in a way, uh, especially uh, his dad. He, Asaina Kenji was Lenny's teacher uh, or mentor. So, so probably he he felt him not uh, he was not blaming himself but he felt himself uh, what do you call it a little like being unable to do anything in that situation uh, in the Boston tragedy he probably felt a little not responsible but what what is the word like he felt sad or powerless enough like you're powerless to do anything in that situation and that's why he decided to become a conductor but he now here's one thing that we still don't like you know have the information about like we see him actually getting in the uh, symphonica uh, becoming a conductor doing stuff uh, like you know defeating d2 helping people all that stuff he did but then in the end of the flashback where we see him and Titan standing and he was talking with Titan, Titan was saying, so everything is over. Uh, can we stop now? Um, okay, yeah, he was... Uh, <coughs> that was... I'm sorry about that, got a little distracted. Yeah, um, not that, sorry. Um, uh, Lenny, uh, yeah, Lenny... Lenny was like, yeah, we can stop now. It's all over. Everything is over. Like we can now like, live peacefully. And they were talking about what they're going to do after this, all that stuff. A weird sound starts and he becomes surprised, looks backwards. That is probably the time when uh, Lenny actually realized what Sagan's plan is. I think so, at least, which unfortunately we still don't have any idea about. Like we can see that Sagan has a plan. Now, it's very weird to see that he is actually the one who is orchestrating everything, the whole D2 situation. Um, I doubt he he's behind the D2 situation, but he is using the D2 to do something. That's what he's doing. Now, the question is, we still don't know what he's trying to do. It's kind of weird because he's actually using D2 to do something. And at the same time, he's stopping the D2 as well. So it's like he's doing something and then like you know trying like you know undoing it so that's the thing that's kind of a little bit of a mystery i think i think like the plan he has a plan which is probably not related to d2 he has some other plan which is somehow related to making new uh, like you know we can see how he's fascinated with uh, people who like you know uh, play good music and you know like uh, he was still talking about the timber i think that's what you call it that's how you pronounce it you know and uh, he was saying like oh asahin do you have like you know you have a great timber and i i would love to see how like you know what your timber becomes at at the end almost at the end or something like it feels like his his plan is not something related to the d2 but something completely different which is why he's using the d2 to do something and like trying like fulfilling his wishes or goals or whatever you call it so we have no idea what that is so anyways um 
okay so yeah so this episode here um we get the those information the whole information about lenny and asahina uh, kenji then we see how they were like you know student teacher all that stuff the whole boston tragedy happens um him waking up in the hospital sagan giving him the um opportunity to work for him and defeat the d2 him meeting titan now we don't have any idea what titan's past is you know like her backstory we kind of got lenny's backstory not titan's backstory so we don't have any idea about that how she became a music art all that stuff no idea and we can see how usually music arts get assigned you know because like you know i, I guess they like you know like one becomes a maestro another like you know uh, the music art becomes a music art then probably they look for compatibility or something and then like you know each music art gets assigned to a separate conductor and and that's how it goes uh, unlike Tact and Destiny which happened at the moment of time and that's why they're like a special exception and I think that's probably what is making Sagan uh, so interested in Tact because of because he, he's an exception and something like that so yeah and so yeah we get the little backstory of Destiny uh, of Titan and Lenny the whole thing you know Lenny said how Lenny says that if you uh not Lenny um Titan says that if you are unable to smile I'll smile in your place and uh Lenny says that and if you are sad I'll smile in your place so yeah and then we get to the like you know the, the flashback abruptly ends it's like really weird um you know like when everything is has was over they were like yeah everything is over we have still something like you know uh, uh titan is like uh, what do you want to do lenny is like i have one thing left to do which is probably something related to tact because you know and it abruptly ends the flashback uh in that situation and we get to the fighting now here's the thing I one thing I'm kind of curious about is like like music arts are supposed to be like you know um like there's like this contract kind of thing they go like you know like as far as I can remember you cannot change music art at the like you know just like that you can't do that but it's kind of interesting to see how you know like all this time hell has been acting as uh schindler's music art then she suddenly says that yep it's over and he breaks the like you know conducting sticks and just goes away alongside heaven as far as i could understand these two are um sagan's music art so how was hell able to do that like you know make a contract break break a contract and they can like what was happening that's a that's the thing that is kind of inter like you know like has a question like you know, it's a question that i'm kind of thinking about and that also probably means like one can have multiple music arts contracted with them unless and until sagan is not contracted with heaven and hell that we still don't know like it's it, it's like the anime is making it seem as if they are like you know sagan's music art but probably that's not the case it, it, you know like it might be like maybe they're like solo music arts and they're just working together with sagan that might be another way you can explain this either that or you can have multiple contracts and yeah like i don't know but the thing here is they are helping sagan out and it doesn't make sense unless and until they are sagan's music art and they have like the same goal or something like that but yeah um like hell's goal i can we can probably guess what hell's goal is hell just wants to like you know spread chaos he just wants to fight and like you know like do flashy stuff that's what she wants so it's pretty easy to guess heavens we still don't know what her actual intentions are and if there is any goal that she has or is she is she just blindly loyal to sagan that we still don't know but yeah now in the end you know they get overpowered um Tuck was able to like you know fight but unfortunately the the thing that's consuming him 
gets too much he's unable to you know do anything and destiny loses her power for a second <sighs> and um lenny covers him from the bullet he gets shot multiple times and i think that was the final as like you know he did the final performance that he put out and you know it's like i'm guessing it's like the the final uh you know like, like it's like the final thing that he did and since it was like almost the end of his life he was able to use that much power and probably the thing that he did here like you know like that immense power that the titan suddenly gained it's probably that it's probably any music art can do that it's just that pro they'll have to be like in very dangerous situation or like almost at the end of their life or something and since lenny knew that he's going to you know die after this he he was able to cut off all the restraints and just go full out or something i don't know that that whole situation is there's still no explanations but uh, sagan was kind of saying something like the last timber which probably is as it sounds like it, it's the last you know the last outburst of power that uh, lenny suddenly showed since it was almost the end of his life and yeah like like titan became so powerful that she was easily able to handle both heaven and hell like in a matter of seconds and yeah like that's immense like both heaven and hell at the same time like yeah now and that was it Sagan goes away still don't know what his plan is but it's probably something not good and uh, yeah so that was it you know like we see the last moments of lenny really sad at that time you know and yeah in the end like we see a little section of lenny playing the violin and Hmm. that's not the violin what what is it called um the thing that he was playing that instrument i'm very bad with musical musical instruments um i don't know is that a cello i think so yeah it's a cello isn't it most probably so yeah, uh, we we'll see in the end, like you know, him playing that and tucked, uh, like you know, also like you know, sitting down, playing the piano. Asana Kenji comes, applauds, and then uh, Lenny joins him. Like yeah, that's the end of him. My God, I was not expecting something like this suddenly happen. Like I was not expecting Lenny to suddenly die. Like that was totally unexpected. Like. I was I was really like you know, I was kind of kind of concerned about Tuck himself, Tuck and Destiny themselves, but I was not expecting something like this happening suddenly in this episode. And um, yeah, as I said, I feel like probably nothing will happen to Tuck and Destiny because a game is going to come out and both of them are fine over there. If this is actually the prequel to the game, then nothing should happen to them. But if this is like a spin-off, then that's a completely different thing. Anything can happen to them. So yeah, like I don't know. Like and and I don't even know how he's going to handle this whole situation. Like Dark doesn't seem uh like you know strong not strong, but it doesn't seem he'll be able to handle like you know destiny like destiny's consuming him all the time. And like he wasn't able to do anything in this episode. Because suddenly, like you know, the ins like, you know, as as Destiny tried to become, tried to fight, he got too tired, and the like, you know the devouring of his life that's happening, it got a bit out of hand. That's why he wasn't able to do anything, and Destiny lost his power momentarily. So I don't know. I feel like this is almost at the end. The anime is almost at the end. Then I don't know how he's going to do anything within these few episodes, unless and until this is a two core anime, like it has twenty four episodes or something. That's a completely different thing. I don't know. I, I doubt it is a 24 episode anime. I think it's probably 12 or 13 episodes. So I don't know how he's going to do anything. This is the 10th episode. Because this doesn't seem like a problem that can be solved in one or two episodes. 
but who knows we'll see and now i i don't know what titan is going to do after this like obviously like he can she can go back to the symphonica you know they're all her enemies now she'll, she'll probably now like you know i don't know probably stay with um anna or something i think that's probably what's going to happen because yeah we don't even know if she has any family or anything like nothing we don't know anything about her so most probably she'll just like you know stay back stay with anna and yeah who knows we'll see but yeah that's it so that was my reaction to episode number 10 like i was really not expecting this episode to be something like this that totally caught me you know off guard so yeah so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to episode number 10 of duck op destiny if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of Tuck OP Destiny. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.